In a world where there's just so much going on, like visual identity and like identity in general is what's going to set you apart from, from everything else. You can either get lost in whatever else is going on or you can kind of like set your own path and create your own lane and, you know, make, make the most noise and, and impact as much as possible. So my brand, um, I like to think of it as a ongoing case study about like gender and how I can, within my clothes, challenge the perceptions that are, you know, dawned on to each gender. Kind of like building a uniform that's modern that maybe questions traditionally what is expected of a man or a woman to wear. When I first started making clothes, um, I was making clothes out of my room and I had a T3i and I remember just taking clothes that I made and I hung it up in my closet and I would take photos of like whatever it was, whether it's like a dress shirt, a pair of pants, I think the first couple of years were just me shooting everything that I made um, the way I wanted to. In the beginning, I don't think if I didn't take those, you know, photos in my room and post it on like the internet, maybe people wouldn't like know who I was. I really think my goal in all of this is just a challenge. So challenge clothing, challenge gender, challenge beauty. There's always going to be a challenge uh, in general because for the most part, like these ideas are like different or new. For me, it's really hard to sell a story of like opulence and luxury um, instead of selling this idea of like a perfect world. It was kind of like real clothes made for real people. So usually when I do shoot, I shoot in environments that are like realistic as possible. So anything from like parking lots, desolated buildings, um, libraries, just like anything that kind of creates some kind of like relatability uh, opposed to something that's like aspirational. Teach, look at me. Give me more aggression, more determination. You got it. No worries. When it really comes to gender, I feel like posing is where I kind of play around with that. Um, when you have, you know, a woman standing up tall and, for instance, like the photographer shooting from the bottom, you get a lot of height from the model and a lot of strength. I think in general when, like, women are shot, they're shot in this very like either sexualized or soft kind of manner. And for me, it's really important to flip that on its head and make, you know, women look strong and look empowered and look like they're in charge. So I think questions that people should like be asking themselves when they're kind of like on this visual identity journey is like really like what is personal to you the most that like maybe only you have a say on that topic kind of creating like a line in the sand that makes you different from everyone else. And just, yeah, just pick up a camera and shoot and play around. And, you know, hopefully for better or for worse, you kind of like build out a visual identity and you kind of tell that story that you want to tell. <laughs>